From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. To stop the disease spreading between households. That is why people will only be allowed to leave their home for the following very limited purposes. Shopping for basic necessities as infrequently as possible. One form of exercise a day, for example, a run, walk or cycle alone or with members of your household. Any medical guess that rules out dinner with your parents with you would help a vulnerable person. And thank God for FaceTime. It's not funny, Ben. But only where this is absolutely necessary and cannot be done from home. That's all. These are the only reasons you should leave your home. You and Sam not killed each other yet then? Or is this you disposing of the evidence? No. Sam's swamped with work. The police station are really getting it in the neck since lockdown started. All right, Kyra. Hiya. Everyone's out today. Sam will have to arrest us for having a party. <laughs> oh, I better get back to work. I'll have clients shaking their fists over Zoom. So, um, how's the little mum? Theo's at my mum's for a bit. Thought she'd do a better job homeschooling than me. She's got more patience. So, so you're by yourself? That can't be too fun. It's a bit lonely at times, but it's what's best for Theo. Just trying to keep busy. You know, I kind of neglected gardening a bit. So in a way, being fair it's kind of good. It means I can focus on it. So what's that going to be? Geranium, I hope. Symbolises health. But I've planted out front this year. I feel like everyone can use a bit of hope. Well, I say little boy. Ben! You said you were going to put the dishes away once you finished that sig. Yeah. Come in now. Happy gardening. Some people have really let their standards slice during lockdown, haven't they? Holly, I literally just finished my sig. I was on my way back in. No, not you. I mean, her. Waltzing around the street in a dressing gown. She must never change out of it. Well, I mean, it is only half nine. I am pretty sure that I seen one just like hers in home bargains the other week. Not that I went into home bargains, it was just up in the window. Right. You seem to get on well. Okay. Kyra. Well, she's our neighbour, Polly. Why shouldn't we get along? This is hot. Polly? I really hurt. Oh, come on, it was just a joke. You burnt me. Man up then. I'm off to my online yoga class.
I tell you what, the crisis team are being pushed to the limit right now. But you have to bury any of that emotion day in, day out for the sake of the job. You think it can't get any harder and it does? You're doing the best you can. That's all you can do. Jippy do. You're in my mind. <laughs> Mum, are you wearing this for me? I'm teaching a class this afternoon. Ben? What's happened? Is it your mum? Is it my mum? They haven't got Covid, have they? Ben, will you answer me? Huh. No. You forgot to record my cooking programme, didn't you? I lost my job. I don't really know what you're expecting. That arcade bar was on its last exit it is. Lockdown is hardly going to do it any good. But I love being manager there, Polly. What am I supposed to do now? Get a proper job. Mark from work said there's a vacancy at his wife's accountancy firm. It's only admin, but at least it's decent pay. I don't want to work in an accountancy firm. Well, you can't work in a bar forever, Ben. You're not 18 anymore. Maybe this was exactly what you needed, hey? Look, I'm telling you, it's a blessing in disguise. You'll do that iron it, won't you? How long have you been there? Eight years. Yeah, manager for four of them. I've got management experience. I'm sure when places reopen somewhere I'll bite your hand off. That's the thing. No one will be hiring until places open up again. I, I can't see myself stuck in an office all day. It's not me. She knows how much you love working at that bar. Surely she'd rather you be happy than doing something you hate. So this is dropping it now, is it? Oh, I was just taking a break. Kyra seems pretty busy without you distracting her. Come on. That's the second walk the Parkinson's have been on today. And this morning they were out for well over an hour. It's only a walk. It's not like they're having a party. Well, it's hardly lockdown, is it? When people won't stay in their houses. I'd like to go on 10 walks a day too. Especially when I'm trying so hard at this new diet. I've got a meeting at four, which means me tiring my voice out while they all just sit in bed with the cameras off. Spell. Job's a job. Ben, get down here now. Why can you never do anything right? Look at my best work, Miles. Why did you do it? I didn't do it on purpose. It was an accident. Oh, everything's an accident with you, isn't it? Why can't you just admit that you're useless, Ben? You're freaking useless! Oh, I'm really sorry. I'll buy you another one. With what? The scraps of redundancy pay in your overdraft? Those few pennies in tips at the bottom of your money jar? How about I ruin all your clothes and then we'll be even? I'm, I'm really sorry. It was just a work blouse.
Yeah, I'm trying to cut back. You're right, mate. Oh, it's pretty nasty. Oh, what this? Oh, it's nothing. I walked into a door. Must have been some angry door. Seeing people like that down the station and they're not there because of home furnishing. Really? I'm fine. I go out for a sick. No, you don't. I've decided until you find another job, you're gonna have to quit smoking. We can't afford to throw money away on cigarettes. But I'm looking for a job now in the paper. Look. I don't care. We need to make cutbacks, Ben. I can't just quit. You're so selfish. I know why you're doing this. Do you not think that I've taken this harder than you? I carried her. I grew her inside me, but you don't see me smoking and drinking all day long. Is that why you like her so much, hey? Because she can have children and I can't. What? And <laughs> say the least. Hiya. What a shit day. I've made you a big sweetheart. Oh, cheers, love. I've been watching reruns of gardening shows. It's insane. I was saying to Ben the other day. What? Just that you've managed to mention Ben about 15 times during this conversation. So, so she's implying that there's something going on between... He's just my neighbour. We're just neighbours. You do realise it's Sam's job to interview guilty suspects. <laughs> Leave her, Ali. She's hardly going to admit anything with Polly sniffing around. She's like the dogs we've got down at the station when it comes to finding things out. Who drove you to all them hospital appointments, eh? Who got up at one in the morning searching for ice cream under your demand, eh? Oh, I am so sorry, Ben, because that must have been so hard for you. It was hard for me, keeping everything bottled away for your sake, Polly. Whatever you say, she was my baby too. Put the bottle down, Polly. What's, um, with all the bruises he's sporting at the moment, anyway? What do you mean? The other week, it looked in a bad way. Black eye, a few bruises. This is why people shouldn't be trying to do their own DIY in lockdown. No, it was more than that. I could tell. His whole personality had changed, hadn't it, Kai? He was nervous and jumpy and, well, depressed, it seems. I saw a burn on his hand the other day. It's probably nothing. He's probably just slipped over the frying pan, but he was quick to make sure I didn't see it. Polly, put the ball down. Well, he's hardly out getting into scraps in nightclub smoking shelters right now, is he? He's not seen anyone else, especially since losing his job, and I can't imagine that's doing wonders for his well-being. What? Do you think he's doing it to himself? Put it down, or I'll have to... You'll have to what? Who's going to believe you? Nobody. You're weak, Ben. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Ali, I love you for always seeing the positive side of things, but there's something wrong here. I can feel it. Is that Polly shouting? smoking or is it that you don't want me talking to Kyra? What? Is that why you told me to stop? So that I won't bump into her? Are you all right? Oh please, that's a little convenient, don't you think? I bet you've been messing each other for meetups all lockdown. I'm not stupid, Ben. I know what's going on. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't lie to me! He's 
strong. I was trying to calm him down, but he wouldn't listen. Is he okay? So this is where the bruises have come from? What have you done? Why didn't you say anything? Let me clean that up for you. Holly Nolan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of assault. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Things going to be alright. 